when you meditate, you want to keep your mind as at a state of normalcy as much as you can. And John Lee's image is of a post at the edge of the water. The water rises, but the post stays in place. The water falls down, goes back out. The post stays in place. So the breath comes in, your mind is steady, your breath goes out, your mind is steady. You want the breath to be comfortable, and so you do some work to make the breath comfortable. But otherwise, you want to keep as much equanimity and patience with the process as you can. Because you're developing good qualities to use in the world. Because look at the world, the way the world goes. It rises and it falls. Things get better and then they get worse. Things you like come and then they go. Things you don't like come and then they go. That's the normal way of the world. But for us, the mind doesn't stay normal when these things happen. When good things come, we tend to get complacent. When bad things come, we tend to get depressed. You have to realize that the mind doesn't have to depend on these things. Its state has to be independent of these things. It has to maintain a state of normalcy as the world goes through its normalcy. But the normalcy of the mind shouldn't go up and down. The normalcy of the mind is something that's steady and still, alert. It's not like you're dead to things, you're alert to things, but you realize that the way they go and the way you go are two separate ways. You've got to keep steady as they move. Otherwise, you can't see their movements clearly, and then the movements get into the mind, where they can wreak all kinds of havoc. So try to develop this attitude of normalcy. When the mind stays still and alert, that's its normal state. For many of us, that it's a different kind of normalcy from what we're used to, but when you get used to it, you realize that this is where the mind really is at its most secure, at its most content. Because it's not being starved of things outside. That's what people are afraid of. If you don't get excited about good things, you're going to be starved. We've got good things inside to take their place, and they're much better. States of mindfulness, alertness, concentration, the ease and well-being that come with concentration. These more than make up for the things that you're not gobbling down from outside. So as the breath comes in, keep your mind steady. The breath goes out, keep your mind steady. Things in the world come the way you want, keep your mind steady. They don't go the way you want, keep your mind steady. That's their normal way. You have to accept that that's the way they normally are. Not only with things outside, even your own body, as the Buddha said, aging, illness, and death are normal. But the mind treats them as abnormal, so it gets itself all worked up. But if you can face all these things, good and bad, with normal, a normal state of mind, a state of mind that's steady and alert, you can live with them without suffering, because you don't take them in. Your normalcy is one thing, their normalcy is something else. Always try to keep that division in mind. 